For one, over 100 years, Colorado State and Wyoming have been going at it. The latest chapter in the border war is coming up next. Foul was on the floor. Stolen away by Wyoming and going in for the uncontested slam is Josh Adams. He does that. Josh And another errant pass. Two on one for the Cowboys. Back the other way. Laid up and in by Adams. And right away, Larry Eustachy very upset with the early. Adams coming off the pick and drains it. And a fast start for the freshman from Parker, Colorado. Really good footwork and very good with, with either hand, so he can really hurt you with that type of drop step. The pump fake uh, couldn't convert there, though. Nance didn't realize how open he was and quickly <laughs> reacted and flushed it home. On the other CSU has missed their last six shots. Into the lane for a layup is Joe Desimer. There are guards on both sides of the ball that can hurt them. I want to see who has a better chance of doing that in the half court. Knocking down the three, long range is Hankerson. Wyoming a good job getting back. Nice pass. Layup left it in, and the foul is Teal Daniels. Very, very nice. Patient. Tough shot in the corner. Knocked down by Adams. Halfway to their season average of 11 per game. Strong baseline drive laid up and in by McManaman. Off of assists. Uh, it has not been a cleanly played first 12 minutes or so. That was a pretty dish. John Gillen to Stanton Kidd. Gillen looking to push whenever he can. Wyoming better chance getting back and there's the pass. Gillen doing it all. Beautiful. As Tough shot along the baseline. Richardson able to bank it home. In this first half, it'll be interesting to see how many minutes he ends up playing in the second. Corner, McManaman knocks it down. Down to eight. Nice pass. Dunked home by Cook. Pretty pass there by Herndon. And that'll get us to the end of the first half. Looks to get rid of it, does. Hankerson takes the three and hits it. Big. Now Wyoming's playing a good basketball game, not necessarily a crisp basketball game. Oh, that looks pretty crisp. Uh, this is just not good awareness from Colorado State. And Wyoming yeah. looking to run. Good play there by Gillen. Back the other way, two on two with Avila. Under, up, and in. Very nice. Looking for the screen from Nance. Gets it. Down to three. They're going to have to hoist it. Oh, and at the buzzer. A bailout three from Charles Hankerson, Jr. Score right now for Wyoming. Also leading rebounder in this game for Wyoming. Pass picked off by Cle Clavel, and he flushes it home. Gian Clavel with the strip and the slam. Had them ranked 13th in the nation. Long three by Clavel. Finally, they break their duck with their first three of the game with eight minutes left. Suddenly a three-point game. Tough three. Bang! Stanton, kid. CSU on a 14-4 run. Knocked away, two on one. And finishing off with a layup is Hankerson. Another crucial turnover for CSU. Here comes Gillen. One on three. Gonna take it. Avila. Three minutes left. It's still a two point lead for Wyoming. And here's Larry Nance in good position to finish. Nance, one of the few times he's looked to try to make an explosive move. and. Athleticism, but he had well above the rim with that finish. Avila finishes at the rim. Looks like they're trying to set up Adams. Falling down, dishing to Nance. Beautiful hesitation dribble, lost his defender completely. And then the unselfish play, Josh Adams. 56, 54, minute left. Colorado State obviously can play this possession out. Plenty of time here. 
to force a turnover just like that. Gillen comes away with it. McManaman, we've got a tussle here. And just as we talked about, there's the possession arrow in Wyoming's favor. Larry Ustashi going nuts, trying to get a timeout called before the whole ball situation. Colorado State's players did not have the awareness to get that called on the floor. No five by screen, Clavel. just one four. Bottled up, McManaman. Oh, what a big shot! I like that from Larry Shia. Up his dribble, found McManaman on the wing, and he knocked down the dagger. Bejarano will hoist the long three. It is short, and that will do it. Shot will not count. And Wyoming seemingly barely holding on to the lead throughout the course of really the entire last 10 minutes of the second half. Boy, what a gutty win for Larry Shiat's team. That's the perfect word for it. I didn't think they had the energy to get there, but again, they made two or three enormous plays down the stretch.